Ryan, what's wrong? Uh, you know what's wrong. You're a lender, so you know why myself as a realtor I'm upset right now. Uh, it's appraisals, right? Yes, and I feel like I'm totally out of control with the whole process sometimes. It's a pretty frustrating time right now. I mean, there's a lack of appraisers in the market. Nobody really knows you know, how to speed up the process. Uh, feel a little helpless, but you know what? There's actually a few things we can do. So okay. uh, we can go over a couple of those. Yeah. One. When it's ordered, I mean, when do you think it should be ordered? Probably uh, the second, the very second after mutual acceptance, I, I would get it. <laughs> In ordered. some cases, yeah. we can do pretty close to that. Others, you may need to wait a day or two. But again, communication, just like we always preach, communicate with your lender. Ask them what you can do to speed up the process. Yeah. Uh, what about on your side? I mean, you control access to the house, don't you? I do control access to the house technically because the key is in the key box. And if I control that key box, mean maybe I just take it off the house, that means I now have <coughs> access to um, the, the house. I control that. And okay. the appraiser will need to meet with me. So I'll get to meet with him, get a feel for the appraiser, uh, and actually know when the appraisal is actually happening, which is invaluable information. Yep. Knowing a timeline, knowing what to expect really helps us all out. Um, on my side, on the lending side, trying to execute the loan, a big uh, thorn in my side is work that needs to be done on the property, repairs right. that, you know, the loan I'm trying to get you requires certain conditions of the home. What do you do as a real estate agent just to maybe save us some time there? Yeah, so there are there's a standard list of things that need to be done to the house before it's actually finest. So things like <coughs> earthquake straps on the hot water tank or CO detectors that need to be provided by the seller. Those things can be knocked out, you know, done ahead of time. So we're not well, delaying the process, right. the end reinspection. Right, right. Yeah. So those are some things um, that you can do ahead of time to, gotcha. to shave down some time. Well, there's definitely some things we still can't control. Yes. No matter what we do. So the, there's one thing that there, there are things that we can control. And the biggest thing is value. The, we are not allowed to influence the appraiser in any way about what they think the home is worth. They are a neutral, <coughs> unbiased third party evaluating the value of the home. Yep. And uh, your real estate agent, though, with their knowledge, should be able to look at comparable sales in the recent area um, and be able to give you a good idea. But you know what? Out of our hands. Another is when that appraisal is submitted. Yeah. So you... some, sometimes, and I know you've run into this too. You have an appraiser that goes to the house on a Monday and the appraisal is submitted on a Thursday, which yep. is awesome. But sometimes <clears throat> it's a two, three week process that can drive us crazy. So let the time frame go as well. Yep, something we just can't touch on. Um, another thing that I can't control is how much it costs. These are third party vendors. How right? much do they cost these days? They're ranging from about 600 to to $1,000. Again, uh, the range is pretty wide. Depends on the home, the property, uh, how fast we need it back. But there's simply just a lack of appraisers in the market. And uh, different lenders are going to have you pay for that in different ways. Some yeah. are going to have you pay up front with a credit card. Some won't, won't make you pay until you actually close that loan. So I don't know about you. I don't really want to pay for it unless I'm actually getting the home. So something yeah. to think about, ask your lender. <clears throat> Again, communicate. So the appraisal. There's some things you control. There's some things you can't control. Let it go. Get a lender and a real estate agent that know what to do and how to quicken and how to shorten that time frame up. And you will have a lot of success when it comes to actually closing on your home. Thanks, guys.